Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and guys, uh, today we'll take up one more problem on level 3, application of projection of lines. So, here we go. So, we've got a line PQ, 100 millimeters long. So, let me just go ahead and write down all the datas. True length, 100 millimeters. Okay, now this line is at an angle of 30 degrees with the HP and 45 degrees with the VP. Fine. So, we have theta as 30 degrees and we've got phi as 45 degrees okay this line is no ordinary line right it may appear that this is a simple problem that, that this is going to be very very complicating now this line is having a midpoint obviously from either end the midpoint is going to lie at a distance of 100 by 2 that is 50 that midpoint is actually coinciding with the vp okay or is in the vp so midpoint is part of a line also, midpoint point is also a part of vertical plane you can say. So the midpoint is in the VP, so if anything, if there is a point in the VP, then its distance from the VP will be zero. So the distance of any point from the VP is represented by D and the distance of midpoint from VP will be equal to zero, okay, according to the condition. And it is 20 mm above the HP, so HM is equal to 20 fine now there is something else which is extremely important in the context um, draw its projection if the end p is in third quadrant guys this is very important end p is lying in the third quadrant okay and if it lies in the third quadrant then d is above remember this this is something that i taught you in projection of points d is above and h below dp let me a subscript p what about n q q is in the first quadrant so for first quadrant the policy is you know very well h above and d below h above and d below that is up with respect to x y line obviously h q and d q so taking all of this stuff into consideration we need to make the final orthographic projection now as far as this problem is concerned we can solve it by the half line approach we can take this we can just say initially that the line is not PQ, that the line rather is MQ and we are going to make the front view of this line that is M dash Q dash and we will also make the top view of this line that is MQ. As point Q is in the first quadrant, so you can treat this okay very easily. Let's go ahead and do this. So here we have it, an XY line and first of all, just like I always did H above and D below okay for a first quadrant. The same stuff I am going to be doing over here also. There is not an end point, rather it's the midpoint with which we are kicking off. Here it is, midpoint. This used, D is 0, that's, along with D we have the top view, that's it. H is 20, so H above, okay. This is 20 millimeters, fine. And uh, <clears throat> let's, let's move forward. Okay, that's the locus of M in front view. Let me put up this theta. And right now I'm following the half line approach. So the true length for me is going to be 50 millimeters. Remember this. Okay. 50 millimeters at an angle of 30 degrees or theta, whatever. Similarly, over here also, this is 50 millimeters at an angle of 5. That is 45. Let us have the locus lines. Now this is going to be very simple. Produce line from Q dab one dash in the downward direction. Like this. And from Q2 in the upward direction. Like this. Rather. Let us finish this and then with m as center and mq1 as the radius rotate this in the clockwise this over here will give you the top view of point q and you can go straight vertically upwards when it is going to intersect somewhere here that is the front view or there is in some other way also let me show you from q to produce a line in the upper direction that's it and this by the way is the top view of the half true length you can say and this is going to be q2 dash and then with m dash as center and m dash q2 dash as the radius rotate this in the anti-clockwise sense and this point right here is point q dash and that's it guys now the stuff is going to become very easy so half uh, line has been done the remaining half is still left how can that be achieved let me show you okay so just draw a line randomly stretch stretch this front view in the backward direction you can say and then keep one leg of your compass here at m dash other leg at q dash and then cut an arc over here 
okay cut an arc over here this point somewhere here it will cut this point will correspond to point it will show you p dash and then with m as the center and mq as the radius cut an arc over here this is going to give you p now this qm line has been stretched okay this front view has been stretched and the stop view has been stretched and you can clearly see this both of them lie on a single vertical line so that's the final front and this is the final top view front view of q top view of q this is front view of point p and this is top view of point p and you can clearly work out since p is in the third quadrant d is associated with top view so top view above x y and front view below x y clearly see that top view above front view below and since q is in the first quadrant front view is above x y and top view is below x y front view is above x y and top view is below x y <coughs> so guys that was all for today i'll see you again in the next video until then take care and have a nice day